Mujayad. And so oh, live cat. oh, we need to change that to a live cat. We don't, do we have enough that that happens? I mean, oh, wait, can they hear us? Can they hear us? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. How do you know? I don't know. Yeah. Because, and oh, hi. It says we're live. Hi. So we're going to take just a couple of minutes to let a few folks uh, come on in and then we'll let you know what we're going to be doing for the evening. Right. We are. Yeah. How was your day? My day was good, actually. It was pretty busy. Yours? It wasn't so busy until this afternoon. We went to the water park this afternoon. We made the mistake of going to the, well, I mean, it was okay. It was we just had cold. a great time. So it, it wasn't a mistake, but it was cold. We were wrapped up in like these towels that right. are more or less blankets. Sorry. So, sorry. So it was very cold, but the kids had a good time. Yeah, and it was fine. You know, turns out arena weather is stupid. Who you knew? Know, I did. I, I found, or I find that we are like a two hour maximum family at the water park. The if it was just warm, do... I'd be fine. Like I could stay in the river, but I will say, Qua, I asked him on the way home. I said, was it cold? And he said it was cold. And I said, what about the pool? Was it cold? It was cold. It was really cold. So for him to say it was cold, it was cold. Oh, we both have our beautiful headbands. Yeah, so I went on vacation this last week, a little weekend getaway, and we went to uh, Monterey. I went with my kids and hubby, mm -hmm. and um, so this was our little... Carrie brought it back. I mean, it brought me, a bit, brought me a gift back. And I think we each got the right color. I know. I do. I do. Yeah, I think it worked out. Ooh, and I'm going on vacation... Um, Monday yes. afternoon, I'm driving to San Francisco and I'm going to meet my husband in town and spend a few days without kids. All of the kids are going to be doing summery things. I can't even imagine. 58 degrees where Captain Booms is. <gasps> so oh, cool. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. I get like a, what is that? A horseshoe. Oh, no, I can't. No, because I <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. We will never be able to unsee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, Metal Working Pro, I hope you are feeling better. Yes. So quick hi to everybody. Yes. Um, one thing that I did this morning, I got up super early and I got out my drill bits that we bought yesterday. And I, um, I've i been cleaning up my closet, so I hang up some hooks. I went out to the broken fence and I put new screws in that. Look at I you. Was, yeah, I worked on the quilt. I did a lot of stuff. I, I really did, did some hand mending, a bunch of hand mending. I fixed that dress already that I bought yesterday. Did you really? Mm -hmm. All I did was laundry. I think that's about it. I guess I win. You, you do. You All win. right. So we are going to do a fun thing tonight. Yes, we are. I'm excited about it. So, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, we decided we want to switch things up and try something interesting. And I don't know if you guys know, but we love coffee. A lot. We are coffee drinkers. So Joelle had a beautiful idea. Thank you. I'll go ahead and say what your idea was. It was your idea. It was brilliant. No, go ahead. I like how you're building it up. <laughs> so we wanted to do a coffee taste test because you can call me basic if you want, but I happen to love Starbucks. I already have like in my head ideas of what I really like. Do you? Yeah. Like I, you know, I love Starbucks. My husband loves Dunkin' Donuts. We are a divided I don't family. I like Dunkin' Donuts. Me neither. That's just why it works. Yeah. So what we decided to do, well, Joelle's great idea was to try three different fast food coffees. Yes. And we're going to do a blind taste test. So we will set aside our preconceived notions. Right. And we will determine what we like best. Yes. So the three that we chose, I'll show them to you. I'll start with this little way. Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. uh, delicious burgers. We didn't get they burgers. We do have great burgers. We were so good. We went through and did not buy anything cart loaded. No. And you know what? It's so funny. I saw a meme about Jack in the Box. It said, when I, um, 20 years ago, Jack in the Box, two tacos was a buck. There's still a buck. 
Really? 20 years later. So does that mean I was scammed before? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, was, I thought they were a great deal when they were two for, anyway. All right. So, so we got this Jack in the Box. Now, this was a buck forty nine. Was it really? Yeah. Most expensive. Okay. So, yeah, do that. Let's do that because look how I'll hold it. It's dinky compared to this BK. Yeah. And then this Shirley. You can see. See the difference? And the BK was like a dollar. Yeah, the BK was a buck, and, and McCafe is also a buck. And I think the, the Burger King and the McDonald's are similar. Their shape is different, but I think they're about the same size as far as I think that you ounces. are correct. So, the, and these were each a buck. Now, I have it in my head that I don't like BK coffee, so it'll be interesting to see how this has I know. Me too. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. We will I see. I feel like we're kind of coffee snobs. I still so. say, see, the... the BK is taller, but it's it's a little bit it's skinnier. It's thinner, yeah. So I think they're probably similar, but definitely Jack in the Box. I mean, that's a tiny cup of coffee for more money compared to the others. So right off the bat, as far as value for Just your value, money. Yeah, we're going to say probably BK or McDonald's. Or McDonald's. They're probably a dollar. Um, but where was it they seemed like, oh, it was BK? You want coffee? I know. They were shocked. Just black coffee? Right. <laughs> so here's what we did to make sure that the taste test was even. Mm -hmm. We both like cream in our coffee. Mm -hmm. And now I like a little bit of sweetener and Joelle doesn't. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we put cream in each of the coffees before we split them out into our individual cups. And then I added one drop of artificial sweetener into each one of my sample cups. Really? My son put that up there. I think it's funny. It's hilarious. Okay. So. So anyway. All right. We have, go ahead. Oh, I don't know what we do keto. So we added to each one of these before we split them out. We added two cups of heavy whipping no, cream. Two tablespoons. <laughs> two cups would be a lot of cream and a little cup. That's how my husband likes his cup. Oh, okay. I have a beta shirt on. I just realized. You do. Oh, you did not that you were representing a purpose. Go beta. beta. Go beta. We love beta. We do. And so, Maverick. We hit the first one. We yeah. do. We do. So we added two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream to each one of these individually. Split them out into our cups, which we have marked on the bottom, so we can't see we which know. is what. And your kid brought them in randomly, so we have yes. no idea. So it's complete. We will determine. Oh, too bad we don't. We can't do like a on screen like whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, we can barely here. stream, Joelle. I know. <laughs> we need to be thankful for what we can do. So we exactly. have, so um, last time I was at Disney, I bought these Disney cups. So all of the cups are the same. I have to be careful. Let's look on the bottom. But we have oh, don't, yeah, three don't. portions and we will taste them and then line them up in order of our preference and then we will check. So they're written on the bottom. What? Where are my post-its? Oh, you know, I took the post-its this morning because I had to write a note. Oh, and put, it's fine. There are more. Too. Oh, there's some more. Oh, that's really up close. Did you? Did okay. You, I you can't get them. Here, I'll get them for you. Hold on. What do you need them for? Um, so we can write our... This is, uh, this is why I took the post-its. <laughs> you should tell them what that says. I don't know if you guys that's can funny. read it, but it says... Unless you plan to pay the electric bill, stop turning the thermostat down to 69. <laughs> and mama ain't playing. Because okay. mama was freezing this morning. It so, does say be gay, do crimes. My son put that. Don't do crimes. He said it, not me. Okay, but we're not advocating crimes. Glad you love coffee. <laughs> Wheelie says later after that. Thanks, Wheelie. Okay. We love Beta Maverick. So, on first glance, Jack in the Box is Eh. Right. Because they just don't give you enough coffee for the year. I mean, it's a dollar forty nine, but still. A dollar forty nine, though. I mean, yeah, that's. And they gave us the most trouble because we ordered a medium, and they said, "I don't have medium. We have regular and large." But like, kind of do the math, right? Give us a regular, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We just don't want a large. We so would yeah. say a large if we wanted a large. And then extra points to was it McCafe for trying to upsell us pretty hard. Oh yeah. No, that no, was that Jack was... in the Box again. Wait a minute. Yeah, the four for a dollar. No, Burger King. That was Burger King? Yeah. The some kind of donut something. Donuts, four for a dollar. Like, do you want this? Don't you want this? Do you want anything? This no. is it. No, this is it. Okay. Right. So, so, so value, we're going to say. On Just coffee. over value. Yeah, we're going to say probably BK and McCafe. Okay. 
And then McCafe is any size too. So McDonald's for me, as far as value, is is the one. And like mentally, as far as my perception, I don't think their coffee's that bad. Like for a while, McDonald's. I was, yeah, just their plain coffee. I don't like their their flavored frozen. I think we should look at um, <laughs> aroma. Yes. Color. Yes. Taste. We can't do temperature because no, they're all kind in. of cold Ooh. now. I would heat them. I like my coffee super duper hot. Me too. I think they were all sufficiently warm. I will say they I don't were. think Jack in the Box was that hot because no. the others you have to kind of be careful when you take. And that the BK one was hard to hold on to. Yeah, and McDonald's is always super flaming hot. So. Yes. So. Okay. I think that I'm going to give them a little swoosh now. Ooh, I did put Oh, my, you have yours in order. Okay. No, just in I mean, any, no particular In a order. line, is, I guess. Is uh, I oh, because I have issues. Well, I'm, I know. I'm going to join you. With your Look, issues. and I faced my I'm cups, too, even though it doesn't matter. Yeah, but that's important. My mom is a Leo. You know that. We've had this conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. All right. They all look the same. Oh, gosh. About the same color. So that's good. All right. Our first. I've got one. Okay. I'm going to have one, too. Cheers. But Cheers. don't be careful not to look at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Cover it so they can't see. Oh, yeah. Right. So it smells good. Mine smells more like the cream, but it's fine. I mean, it's not terrible. Ready? Uh -huh. mm -mm. I'm not loving this one. It's not. I'm awful because I'm a coffee snob. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. Mm. It's definitely a Starbucks. Okay. So I'm going to try this one. Are we going to do that before we reveal which one we like the best? Are we going to put it in order of what we like? Yeah. Okay. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Or no? no do you want to do it different? No. You tell me what you, do, what you want to do and we'll do it. This is fine. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. I did not Maybe like we one. really don't like fast food coffee. Maybe we, just we don't like us. coffee at all. We just tell ourselves we do. Okay. I'm going to the third one. This one smells mm. like sweaty, like. I like this one. Mm. Yes. Oh. Mm -mm. I like this one a lot. I don't like that one at all. Mm. Okay. See Hold how on. creamy and delicious. Ooh. We're all creamy. Fast and coffee, yes. Like I said, I'm a Starbucks girl. You call me basic if you want. I don't like the way it tastes. I'm going back through and tasting again. So far, I think this one's my favorite. I know which one is my least favorite. This is my least favorite. I know that. Of these two, I think that's probably, I have to try it again. I mean, it's just mm. coffee. So this one, I don't like this okay, one. I, think I this is my favorite. Won't finish. And this one, I had to stop myself from drinking. Okay. So we have them in order. Let's see which was. Let me see how much you drink. Same. See, we both drink a lot of our, the one we put in number one. All right, let's do the one we like the least first. Oh, okay, I'm going to say that I bet mine is the Burger King because I really, really, when I buy Burger King coffee, I never even finish it. And, you know, I, I drink. See, I've done They're that, too. I don't standards. love it, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to guess because I don't know. The third place. It, mine was disgusting. So if it's the same one, we will know scientifically that that is the worst coffee of the three. So our children and we kind of think that we have only one brain. We changed our mind. <laughs> so I'm going to laugh if we get these all the same. Me too. I don't okay, think we so will. I don't think look we will. at number three? I'm yeah, going to look at number three. three. Oh. What do you have? I have Burger King as my number three. I have McDonald's. What? I didn't like it. It tasted bitter and icky. Wow. Yeah, I typically am okay, but I didn't like it. All right. That blows my mind. All right. So All right. for me, Burger King, I'm consistent, not enjoying the Burger King. There's my proof of Burger King. Did not taste good. I'm not even going to take another sip. Because to me, it just tasted acidic and icky. Here. That's oh, I put sweetener, but still taste it. I can't taste anything but the sweetener. Oh, whatever. Fine, I'm done with you. But that's weird I because one I... Cup. That's weird because I did not like that. This was not good. I mean, I would give it to you, but... Let me try it. <laughs> Sorry. It's bitter. It is. I almost wonder if that's mislabeled because... Yeah. That is really bitter. And these two are similar in taste. So, hmm. okay. We'll see. 
We'll see. I don't know. But <laughs> that would be so no. <laughs> I think that I labeled them carefully. No, I think. mindful. Yeah. That's it's not very good. strange. Very strange. Okay. All right. All right. Number Let's two. Let's look at number two. Da, da, da. The rock. I love black coffee. I have been working on putting a lot less cream. In fact, I've been using my tablespoon measure because doing keto, we add heavy cream, but you can have like a 500 calorie cup of coffee. And oh I'll yeah, I don't, I calories. just like it just where it's turned creamy looking and then that's it. I don't want anything else. Okay, okay. Number, number two. two. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, you looked. Oh, oh, I was drinking. Oh, mine's Burger King. <laughs> mine's McDonald's. What? Well, we know that we have the same favorite. So Burger King was number two for me and McDonald's for you. There you go. We just switched. And so Jack in the Box is the winner in the... Even though you get so much less of it. It's worth it. And it costs it. more. No wonder they can charge more. What? It is it's so good. good. It looks really delicious. Like it's creamy. It's creamier for whatever reason. It took the cream a little bit better or something. That's the difference that Do I... you know? I never get coffee there. Me either. Because it's a dollar forty nine for a tiny cup. I mean, who knew? This is it's good. delicious. It's really yeah, good. Put more in the <laughs> let me top us off. No need to let this go to waste. So That's there you have it, folks. All right. So scientifically, Jack in the oh, Box is more that? like. Starbucks, I guess. It's the closest because that's what we like. But it's definitely, so that's crazy. I really did not expect it. I was really bummed out because they gave us such little coffee. But you know what I will say is even though it is more expensive, it's less expensive than Starbucks. Oh, no, it's much less expensive. So I would get coffee there and if we were going out, unless we were splurging on something, if we were just getting coffee, we will go through Jack in the Box. We have been on. really good at not going to Starbucks and cooking coffee at home. Some of us. I have been really good. Starbucks is so good. There, I, I cannot mimic. I like my coffee at home. I do too. I've been making it at home. But I have been getting an iced coffee once in a while. Their cold brew is just so good. It really, really is. It's a buy one, get one right now. What? Why didn't we get one of those? Ah, it's because we're doing this. Wow. So I think that was very successful. And now next time we do a taste test, we are going to do another coffee taste test. Oh, yeah. But we're going to step up our game. Yes. We are going to go Starbucks. Rent. Yeah. Starbucks. Pete's. Pete's. And then we have a local place called Classic Rock Cafe. We do. It'll be interesting to oh, see how that the outlaw. Out. There's a in uh, Verdi, the outlaw. Outlaw. Out I mean, that's a long drive. But you should bring over a cup from Duncan because isn't there Duncan in, on your side of town? Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, we're a family. It. Yeah. Inside the Rayleigh's is Pete's. Mm -hmm. There's Starbucks in Safeway. Or just the drive-through. It's closed. Yeah. Fine. Dutch Brothers. Dutch Brothers. Does anybody love to, oh, sorry. Yes, I love. Oh, anybody? Human Bean. Oh, we should do all drive through coffees, like, but not chain, fast foods. Oh, it'll take a while. I won't take that long. Yeah. We could do it. Um, all right, so I call this a success. Agree, Captain Boone's Dutch Brothers. Oh, it's so good. And in fact, when we drive to places like Seattle, and Oregon, yeah. we um, go to Dutch Brothers. And this last time we went to Dutch Brothers, we got something frozen and sweet and delicious because we were like, keto, what's that? And it was divine. And we did, and we asked the, I don't know, are they called baristas too? I mean, is yeah. it just a coffee person? Okay. I mean, somebody who makes coffee is a barista, right? Okay, so the barista there, we asked him just to do whatever he liked, and he made us these little, oh my gosh, they were so good. I don't know what they were called, though. Was that on the way there or on the way home? On the way home. Oh, good. Because on the way out, we got a punch sundae. Food. See, it's always us with food. It's, but let's just own it. Let's just do taste test every time. We'll do One thing that's so really cool that really good. This week. Oh, wait. We're really good at making people hungry. We yeah. are, yeah. It was we, like I, we supported Lelia Spaniel. And we got this in the mail, this lovely sticker. If you guys want to support Lelia, who is awesome, go. Um, she's got stickers and uh, decals. Go check her out. 
by herself. So I'm sure, I know you saw it, but she's a guest yes. of honor, like a sci-fi. We retweeted it as a matter of fact. Right. Because we are so excited for her. Which is really cool. I mean, it feels like she's really branching out into different fandoms. She does a lot of volunteer work with her suit and her character. Lots of philanthropy. So much. She's Yeah. I, I, I'm i very, very, her. very glad to know her. Yeah. She's pretty cool. You guys, you want to hear something funny? I'm not going to tell you what, but I have an appointment Monday that is in regards to my youngest child. And it's like the... Um, informational meeting <laughs> and my husband's not going to be here so instead I'm taking Carrie that's right cryptic <laughs> yes I will be the stand-in I will be the surrogate spouse yeah no Toy Story 4 the, I want to see it my sister saw it she works at Disney mm -hmm. and they did an outing they see Disney is awesome because they do stuff like that so they had an outing and they got to go watch Toy Story 4 on the clock pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool she said it was awesome so I want to take my kids to go see it I just because none of my kids are going to camp. <laughs> All of my kids are going, and I'm going to San Francisco. My husband has to have a hotel this week anyway because the place that he's normally um, in when he's out of town working is booked for someone else. So I'm going to go stay there and chill out. Would he sleep. notice if I came too? I think you should go. I mean, he'll be okay today. Sorry, always makes me great. No, you think? Maybe. Mm. I'm just hoping mine make it through like camp so I have a day or two in San Francisco. They all stay there. Yeah, it's not like I could just pop over and pick them up either. No, it's like an hour away. I mean, you are on the list. You are the alternate pickup, though. I didn't tell you. Oh, okay. But you are. Great. You always do. I mean, I don't. I think we really covered that early on in our relationship. Like, you're always the emergency. Yeah. Me too. Same Z. Yeah, it works. I can't leave my children. My children would be afraid. That's so funny. My children want me to be there. My kids want to spend time with me, but they could function. I could leave and be gone for days. Do you know what my little one said? <laughs> okay, so my husband, well, anyway, we, we took for a drive this weekend. And um, we were like, all right, we'll be back. We left the two youngers. I mean, one's 13, the other's 10. And we were leaving. And... My little one called because he calls every time I leave the house. Calls and uh, says, uh, Mom? Mom? <laughs> and said, did you guys go to Oregon? Oh, why would you no. go to Oregon? <laughs> we'll be back next week. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> why would we go to Oregon? To go look at a house? No. Know, he knows you. I know he does know me. I would go to Oregon to look at a house, you guys. You don't know. So it's funny that you say that because my children – don't want to spend time with me, but do want me to be there. Oh, we're opposites. Yes, we are the opposite. So together we are one whole thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we experienced the most precious animal sighting the other day of all animal sightings ever to be experienced. I've not, I've seen, I mean, I'm from the country, you know? So I've seen lots of animals and wildlife and things like that, as you have too, I'm sure. This was the most precious I think I've ever, ever seen. What do you think? Super cute. And you've been like Animal Kingdom, all of these animals. Yeah. All right. So we what were- What do we see? I'm getting ready to tell. Go ahead and tell. I'm going to tell. Go ahead. We were driving. Start to tell. Ding down. Go ahead. They want to hear. The road. This is what we saw, you guys. Then it was so cool. No. This is what your child goes through. Yeah. Just being with us. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Okay. Anyway, so we're driving down through a neighborhood, and we see two quail. We have a lot of quail around here, and it looked like the first one was dragging something, or something was like... I thought maybe it was a snake, like chasing after the quail. I, I didn't know. I thought maybe it was like a gray, um, like plastic bag or something. Connect, like there, It looked like something. As we got closer, we realized it was to adult quail and like, I don't know, 10 little babies. A lot of them. Quailets. Quailets? We're calling them quailets. Yes, they're quailets. That's for sure. I might have not Googled that, but we're going to oh. say they were. And they, they, they were like, they were running across the street. Scamper, scamper, scamper. Okay, so they get to the other side of the street and they, right. And so here, do that. That's a great example. So 
the mom, I assume, over the curb. and then the little ones, tick, tick, tick. and then the other adult, and then there's one in the middle of the road, and he's like, dee, 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 dee. and he, he can't jump over. He keeps trying. He keeps trying. And then suddenly, he gets over, and then he runs, and the, he gets there with the other adult. And, yeah. Oh, my God. I, was they were so I have it on my phone, but you can barely see it unless you knew you would right. never find it. It was the most precious thing. Oh my gosh. It was adorable. More precious than my little pupper. I wish we, I mean, had we video, it was like it was set up. It was almost like, I don't know if you guys all know of the money, uh, the movie, the money pit, where at one point they're like, I love, that. I love that movie. This, that's what it was like. It was like it's somebody. Bones, though. Yeah. I don't think it, the Grant, it was totally like a setup. I mean, it was as it though was. it was a movie set and they, I killed the quails. And, it, and then he was just like, I can't get up. I can't get up. So cute. But and we then, see lots of cool wildlife. You have lots of bunnies. Mm -hmm. Lots of bunnies. Squirrels. All right. So we need to wrap it up because we yes. have to go pick up the other people. Next week will be non-existent because I'll be gone. So we will not be streaming next week unless Carrie wants to stream alone. Yeah, I don't want to see that. See, there is, there is the Stop. horse. Stop. 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 I have never seen that before. Stop, because you know what it's going to turn into? It's going to turn into your this. And then you will never. No, you don't. Thing. Look, do y'all see everybody? Sees Stop. The Stop. 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 Look at this. Anyway. Oh, I disturbed the baby. The week. Oh, let's talk about schedules and coming up. Because we need to do stuff. So the week after that. I'm available. None of my children are going to camp. Yeah, they are. That we go. With my I mean, child. Uh, none of them are going to sleep away camp. Right, right, right. So next, not next week. Ooh, next Thursday is Fourth of July. Anyway, so oh yeah, oh, you guys will be concerned. busy having fun because it'll be the Fourth of July. We don't get to have fireworks here, but Lake Tahoe they do. Right. I'm gonna go up there sometime and look. Watch, nah. look. You will not. Be here. No, not this time. Sometime. Hmm. One year. Okay. <laughs> okay. Grant's going to do the stream. Woo! All right. The 11th, we will be back. We'll stream that night. One fourth of July, when I was a mere child, um, we were having all kinds of fireworks. And the kind, because it's in California. I was scared like to death the fireworks. I had to always go sit in a house or whatever away oh, from no, I always I wanted like, to light no. them. And we were over at <laughs> a friend's house. Opposites. Right. And, um... The fireworks went up, and they had some of the kind that shoot up in the air. And one came down and landed in my hair, and my hair caught on fire. And so that was bad. And I said, oh, no, oh, no, or whatever it is that I squealed. And then I jumped into the swimming pool, fully dressed. Well, with, you know, my hair on fire. I was put the fire out. Like, yeah, yeah. That was before, it was before everybody had a phone. It was back in Thankfully. the olden days. And everybody thought that was quite amusing. I mean, they didn't try to help you or see if you were safe or okay. Or I mean, they could see you that was a hospital. Wet. No. Yeah, my hair was on fire. It burnt your hair. How? Oh, my god! I mean, gosh. I was I jumped in the pool really quick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, everybody, have right. a wonderful 4th of July. Remember, we love you. Yes. And get your coffee from Jack in the Box. Yeah, if you're going fast food, go Jack in the Box. So, all right, bye, guys. Bye, Roscoe says bye. Bye.